Hey everybody, it's Paula here from the Excel Club and welcome to my submission for the Excel Hash 2021. So what is the Excel Hash? Well, this is the brainchild child of Oz de Soleil and it's a challenge that he sets by sending out a list of ingredients and from them ingredients, we have to go and cook up something in Excel. So there's 18 of us taking part. You can see a picture here of everybody that's taken part in this. So when you've watched what I've cooked up, do make sure you go over and check out the playlist and watch all of the other videos too to see what they have come up with. So let's see the list of ingredients that was sent to us. First of all, we have to make sure we use a cutout person. Then we have to pick two from the following list. Let lambda dynamic arrays or power query new data types we got to use the even function and then everything has to be integrated and justified so we can go ahead and use everything in excel except for vba so i have used the cutout people i have used the let function i have used dynamic arrays and i have used the even function are you ready to see what i have cooked up and created so this is my creation. It is an analysis of the Leaving Cert students in 2016 versus 2019. Now the Leaving Cert is a state examination and the data I got from a government website, which I'm gonna go through with you now. But this is basically interactive and it breaks it down by girls and boys, by male and females taking the exams. Now, this is the last state examination at school level, after which it's taken around the age of 17 or 18, after which students then go on and apply for college or university or some other third level education. So this allows us to select between different subjects that were available on the Leave Insert. And it then gives us a breakdown between the girls and boys. So the total number of girls and boys in this chart that took the exam. And then out of this, the percentage that got A's or B's, so really high scoring students, broken down by both girls and boys for 2019 and 2016. Now I've added in some text boxes as well, which detail a lot of what's in this chart and gives this dashboard that little bit of extra context. Now, what's interesting to see is that the girls tend to do well in, in languages. They also tend to do well in biology and in chemistry. But then we see that the boys tend to do well in stuff like construction studies. They tend to do well. They take it more and they do a lot better. We can see in construction studies, only 1% of the girls tend to get A's or B's, whereas 10% of the boys do. We're in home economics that totally reverses around and it's interesting to see the gender breakdown by the different subjects. So how did I go ahead and create this and how did I use all of the ingredients? Well, this is my workings. So I have this table of data here. Now I got this table of data by going to the central statistics office website here in Ireland. And from here, I downloaded two different tables. I downloaded this table, which came in this format for 2019, and the same table for 2016. So it's the Leave Insert Certificate Candidates 2016. Now using Power Query, I then connected to both of these, and I merged them into the one table and got rid of some of the information that we don't need. Now from here, because only one subject is charted at a time, so we have our little drop down. Our little drop down is connected to this cell here, which is used then to do a VLOOK or an X lookup to pull back the values that we need based on the subject. Now this X lookup takes in two of the ingredients. The first ingredient is that it is a dynamic array. So I just done the one X lookup formula across the whole range here, and then I added in two calculations. But I also included the even function in here. Now with the even function, what I've decided to do is the boys and the girls total. So the boys and girls 2019 and the boys and girls 2016. I used an if statement. And if when we looked up the value, the value was greater than one, that identified whether it was a percentage or one of these values. If it was greater than one, we were going to use the even function. 
Now, the reason that I chose to bring the even function, so if we go down here, let's change this to uh, French. That's English, let's change it to French. The French number of students in here for boys is 5,891, but I've used the even function to round this up. And I've rounded it up because the even numbers, they just look nicer when they're presented in a text box like this, rather than the odd numbers. So that is why I used the even function in here. So the even function basically rounds these numbers here, or these numbers here up to the nearest even number. Now there was another problem with this. The text boxes, as we can see, are dynamic. So we it changes based on the students, but we had a problem. This reads fine when we have an individual subject. For example, total girls that took biology in 2018 was. However, if we had total, I'm gonna scroll down here and select total, if it took just the word from here, the total girls that took the, I have leaving cert in there, it would say total if I hadn't replaced it. That would make absolutely no sense at all. So I needed to replace only the total with leaving cert because it's the total number of subjects that took any of the exams at all. So to do this, I created a let function and an if statement. So I let this cell here, be equal to our selection. So we say F2 to edit this, be equal to our selection. And then if our selection is equal to total, I want to use the word leaving cert, otherwise we will use the selection. That is then used in the formula that I use to create our sentences, our dynamic text sentences. So we see here that our dynamic text sentences are linked to all of the values, including the leave insert. So that when it is a subject, let's change it back to a individual subject, physics, for example, it just says the individual subject. But when I say total, it takes in the total. So that is my creation and I really enjoyed making it. Thank you very much Oz for creating this challenge. It was a little bit of fun. I also found the insights that I looked at to be quite interesting indeed. Um, I never really looked at the leaving certificate data before, but it is very interesting to see the split between male and females in, the, in their subject choices and in the grades that they get. So thank you very much for watching my submission to this year's Excel Hash Challenge. I do hope that you will give this video a big thumbs up and go ahead and watch all the other Excel Hash Challenge videos too. My name is Paula from the Excel Club. Goodbye now.